What's up, everybody? It's Brandon with Craft Bear Nation coming back at you yet again with another review. And this is a good one that I've been waiting on. Um, well, I guess I've, I've been waiting on this since they did the first collab. Any, anyway, this is a collaboration between Charlestown Fermentary and Aslan Beer Company. This is their double yellow sunfish. So if you're a fan at all of these breweries, you know that Aslan does... Um, uh, double orange starfish and you know that charlestown does uh sun gazer and in the double dry hop version of sun gazer um they got together and they did a collaboration merged the the, the two together and you get double yellow sunfish which is a eight eight point four percent double ipa that's hopped with uh vic secret and citra um i've already poured this beer in the glass because i didn't have intentions on reviewing this beer tonight and as soon as i poured it and I smelled it. I was like, yep, got to get on and do a review real quick. So nonetheless, um, I'm going to pretend like I'm going to pour it in a glass. Look, 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 look. Ah, there you go. Um, it's a, it's, 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 it doesn't quite look like orange juice because it's a little more pale than what an orange juice normally is. Um, I guess you could say it's more, it looks more like grapefruit juice. Um, 8.4%. So the head it definitely isn't going to stick around for, for, for too long. I can work up about a half finger of head, real tight, compact bubbles. Um, the aroma is just jumping out. Now, if, if you're familiar with Aslan beers, um, I don't know if it's a combination of the malt bill and the, 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 the hot profile, but this, this beer smells like an Aslan beer. And, I mean, I've had my share of Sun Gazer. I've had, God knows, y'all know I've had my share of Aslan beer. But this beer right here smells just like an Aslan beer. I get like some some biscuity, some bready biscuity notes on it. Not as much as other beers that I've had in the past, but I definitely get some biscuity notes on it. The citra is coming through, but the citra is a little subdued. It's not in your face citra. I don't. I'm not that familiar with with uh, Vic Secret hops, but um, I don't know something. Something in here is causing the citra to be tame, which is which is totally okay with me. I, I mean, if if you get a a beer that's going to be hopped with with more than one hops, you don't necessarily, and at least in my opinion, you don't want one hop to be dominant over the other hop. You kind of want a nice a nice um you know, merging of the, of the two hot profiles. I don't know a whole lot about Vic secret hop. So I, I can't even begin to tell you what the, what the profile is on that hop, but nonetheless, the, the biscuit notes of the motor coming through citrus coming through, like in a soft orange kind of way. And I, yeah, I don't know what Vic secret is. I'm just getting like a soft, easy, Citra note. Yeah. Cheers, y'all. Wait, let me go back. Let me tell you what it smells like, what it tastes like, and what it rate like. It's been a long night. So, I'll say this. At 8.4%, this beer is very drinkable. It's soft. Um... This was canned on, I don't know. It was, okay, so let's say right now it's it's March 17th, and I know that this beer is right at about a month old. So it was canned right around Valentine's Day. Um, so right in, right in that sweet spot of where I like this this style, the New England IPA style, uh, four, five, six weeks old. We're right at about four weeks old. Nice prickly carbonation that stays a little bit long on the front, not in a detestable kind of way. Totally acceptable, totally pleasant. Um, that citrus note that where it smelled a little bit of like muted oranges, it plays more on the palate of a little bit of um, like soft grapefruit pith, if that makes sense. Um, and that bready, the bready aspect of the malt definitely comes through. In all the best ways, so it's it's working it's working well together. Um, 
Double Orange Starfish is an amazing beer on its own. Sungazer is not the not the I prefer the regular version of Sungazer over the um double dry hop version from Charlestown. This beer is probably a good mix of what Sungazer is and what Double Orange Starfish. It's it's a it complements both breweries. It's not I mean, the nose skews toward Aslan, but I think the palate is like right down the middle of uh of, of both of these breweries. From a rating perspective, I'm gonna give this a solid four CBN caps for the collaboration between Charlestown Fermentary and Aslan Beer Company here at the Charleston, South Carolina, Herndon, Virginia, their double yellow sunfish, 8.4%, double IPA, hopped with Vic Secret and Citra. So there you have it for TBN caps. If you haven't subscribed to our page, be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell down below so, you, so you'll know when we put up some new content. And until that, ladies and gentlemen, until the next review, peace.